Toasters live intentionally and exceed expectations. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. Toast to the men. Now, Toasters, as you come in, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share the content. Also, go over to a toast to the men. Dot com. See if we provide any services you may need. Get that merch. Order the book. Regardless if you get anything, go hit the site, man. Go hit the site. But most importantly, right now, hit the like button. It's very important. It's free. It helps the algorithm. Raises me to the top. And so do that for me. Now, live intentionally and exceed expectations. I was listening to an old interview by... LeVar Ball. I know you guys probably know LeVar Ball. You know, he's the father, the outspoken father who I champion, the outspoken father of LaMelo, uh, Angelo, and and, uh, and uh, what's the other kid's name? Uh, Lonzo Ball. He's their father. And all three of these young men are NBA players. They're NBA players and that's quite a feat. Think about that. This brother created three NBA players, three professional basketball players. Think about that. But listen, that's not by accident. That's not luck. It's not. I was listening to this brother, the father, and he said when he saw their mom before he actually even met her, he saw her from a distance. Now, on college campus, he was an athlete, college athlete. She was a college athlete. He saw her. And saw her physique, her height, her build. And he said to himself, he's going to marry her. And he's going to procreate with her. And he's going to create professional athletes with her. He said this. I believe him. I believe he actually said that. Um, then I'm looking at Ocho Cinco, A.K.A. Chad Johnson. Former NFL wide receiver. Star wide receiver. Can't leave that out. I was listening to that brother and that brother said he was intentional about the women he procreated with. He would look at their ankles. He would look at their calves. He would look at their wrists. He would check their background to see if they had any athletic background. And he would decide off of that if he wanted to procreate. He said, we can work on everything else. <laughs> this, this is his take, right? He said, but he looked at that because he wanted to create professional athletes he wanted to create athletes and he got some great athletic kids over there man under his stable he does and then i looked at former nba player dale curry and his wife or ex-wife sonia curry and they have two sons in the nba now these two met in college they were both athletes dale curry and sonia curry both high level athletes and they created two NBA uh, sons, NBA players. That's not by accident. It's not. It's not luck. Now, along the way, you know, these children, this all these offsprings, man, they got to do the right thing. Uh, but that comes with DNA also. That comes, that's intentional also. But to even have a chance to be in the NBA is quite a feat. And it's not by accident that they procreated these type of offspring. It's not. This was intentional. This was intentional. And all of us can do this. Take away the athleticism. You can do this in an intellectual world. You can do this in the spiritual world, the emotional world. You can manifest and create anything you want to create if you're intentional and attach yourself with someone with the same goal, with the same mission, with the same intent. You can create anything. I'm talking about in business, in relationships, friendships, anything you want to create, you can create. But you got to manifest, procreate those things with someone on the same path you are on and have the qualities needed to do that. Everybody doesn't have the qualities needed to create what you want to create. And so you got to be intentional, man. You got to leave the emotion out of it and be logical and be realistic and say, ask yourself, is this person on the mission? Does this person have the attributes, the qualities to merge with me and manifest what I want to do, what we want to do? Do they have it? You can't just listen to, to listen to the lip service. You got to actually take off those blinders and actually look 
and see for things for what they are and then go ahead and proceed to manifest or disconnect man it, it, that's a powerful thing man and we've always known this we've gotten away from it we have gotten so far away from the source on how to create on how to manifest that we, we think this this logic or this uh, this concept is foreign but it's not man this is how we were created to connect with people and manifest with people on the same accord man i'm telling you two or three people coming together with the same mindset can accomplish anything i promise you it's real uh we've always known this like i said man this goes back centuries and centuries i know this is a, t a touchy subject but the slave owners knew this they knew this that's why they would put this person with this person to create this being they knew they didn't just put anybody together they were intentional but even before slavery we knew this we knew this as native americans we knew this as, as africans uh egyptians wh whatever hebrews whatever you, you know you want to call it we knew this we knew that we should manifest with people who are on the same accord as us on the same mission and path everybody should not connect everybody should not marry anyone like everybody should not be friend you got to love everyone but you don't have to connect and try to manifest and create with everyone it's just not logical it's not realistic it, it it won't work but we've removed ourselves from the source so much that we've lost that and i'm telling you man we got to get back to that if we really want to manifest and fulfill what we're supposed to fulfill in this life we got to get back to that we got to be intentional we got to control our emotions be self-disciplined and really buckle down stop looking at superficial things the big butts you know uh, the huge breasts those things are fine i appreciate those things brothers like any other man but man we got to look deeper we got to look deeper and see are we going in the same direction even in platonic relationships with with, with, with your brothers uh with platonic relationships with females man friendships whatever business we got to make sure we're connecting with the right people who have the same intent man you got to be intentional and an intentional mind is a powerful mind and nothing can stop it you got to be intentional and then we got to look at man we got to ask ourselves and ask the people around us what does success look like to you what's the end goal what's the end game people don't ask those questions we got to man man when i used to go in for interviews you know after they interview you know you get to the end and they would ask if you have any questions i would only have two questions uh well maybe three i would i would ask uh how's your experience with the company you know something soft curveball a little softball right um how soon do you need someone to fill the position but the kicker the number one question i would end it with which would always leave them stumped i would give a scenario and i would say if you guys extend an offer and i accept the offer and i've been with you a couple of months what will it take for you to say sd has met or exceeded our expectations it never fails they go wow we've never been asked that it puts puts the onus on them it puts the responsibility on them it puts accountability on them to tell me what does success look like what does a win look like what is the end game what is the goal how can i succeed not only succeed what does exceeding those expectations look like it's a direct question this is the kind of questions we have to ask the people we're connected with or we want to be connected with or, or wants to connect with us but most importantly man we got to ask ourselves that question what does success look like what does a win look like what is the mission what is the goal what is the end game we got to ask ourselves that question we got to be intentional in everything we do man we have to be intentional we have to be focused we have to be disciplined and we can manifest anything we want to manifest i'm telling you man when you see these people coming together 
and manifesting things in business and relationships with children, marriage, whatever it is. This is intentional. And I know people like to call it classism or prejudice or whatever, man. It's not about race. It's not. It's about intent. What are, where are you going? Where is your focus? If we have the same focus and the same intent, we can overcome anything. We can let the other stuff is superficial. The race, the color, the gender, all that stuff is superficial. But if we have the same goal, the same intent and pure hearts, man, we can accomplish anything. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, toasters, be intentional. Like I said, I fall victim to not being intentional myself. But we have to be intentional. We have to set the bar. We have to know what a win looks like, what success looks like. Ask the people around you that. Ask yourself that. And then stick to it. As always, man, from me to you, love. Peace.